The molten core attunement can be done in different ways. In this video, I'll focus on how you can solo this, but also how you can do this as a group. In this video, I'm entering from Searing Gorge. So if you enter from the other entrance, then just move to this location. The fastest way to get the quest is to jump directly into the lava. When you jump down, then make sure you don't hit any of the objects. Now you just have to make sure that you avoid as much fire damage as possible. So make sure to jump. Run up here and up here to the right, you will see a quest giver. This is also the quest giver for the Molten Core attunement. You will have to be a minimum of level 55 to pick up this quest. In this quest, you are told to get the core fragment. You can pick up the core fragment in the dungeon BRD. In BRD, you can find the object right in front of the entrance to Molten Core. I'll now show you a way to get to this location by yourself. You'll need the Shadow Forge key and you will also need some invisible potions. If you play a druid or a rogue, then you don't need these potions. But like I mentioned, you need the Shadow Forge key and this is to unlock these doors. If you don't know how to get this, then I've left a link in the description on how you can get this. If you're not level 60, then you'll have to use a lot more invisibility potions to get past all these monsters. Else you can just follow the way that I do, because this character is level 60. Follow the way that I run, you can also see the planned route on the minimap at the bottom left. When you run like this, then always pay attention to all the dwarfs. As you see, there's a lot of patrols around here and also on the other side of this gate. Before you run past this gate, then make sure to track the other side and look for the patrol because it might be close to the gate by the time you try to enter. By this point, you have completed the first part and you have got to the first checkpoint of my map. Now you just have to follow the next map. In this room, you'll find a lot of fire elementals. You can skip most of these by running in a straight line in between the fire elementals. The last two you will pull. Here you can either use an invisibility potion, but you could also just jump right into the lava right next to, and then you should evade the monsters. No matter what you decide to do, then you have to jump into the lava and get up here, because this is our safe spot, and this is also the location you have to go to to save a lot of time. By this point, it's also time to update to the last minimap. You will have to go into the lava, but if you can, then try to hug the wall as much as possible. When you go into the lava, then always make sure to jump, because you will take less fire damage by doing that. At this location, make sure to jump as much as possible. If you struggle with the fire damage, use a healing potion, but also make sure to go to the area with the fire elementals. Just make sure to stay as close as possible to the lava. This is to make sure you don't pull the monsters. Now you're almost done. Regen a bit health before you jump back into the lava. As you see, you're pretty close to where we have to get to. By this point, you can chill a little bit, regen some health, and now you will have to use an invisibility potion. You use the potion to skip the fire elementals. You will have to wait for another cooldown to skip the last pack. But once you have skipped these, you can also loot the core fragment. If you did this dungeon as a group and you decided to kill bosses, then it will be right after the summoner's tomb. Here you can turn to the right and then you will see the bridge that I just crossed with the invisibility potions. When you have completed the quest, you go back to the quest giver. Hand in the quest and now you are tuned for Molten Core. When you are tuned, you can also speak to this NPC and he will teleport you right into Molten Core, so you don't have to go all the way through BRD. I hope you found this guide useful. If you would like to see other vanilla classic guides, then make sure to check out the channel. As always, thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Peace.